Uh, it's eviction day. The ejection of people at Tin City has occurred as per the court order. Um, it is now Thursday morning. Um, approximately 100 people have been removed from Tin City. All that's left now is, is the remnants of the illegal structures which were originally erected here. So basically we're not sure quite yet where the people who were staying here have moved to. A lot of people have, have obviously been uh, displaced from here and um, I've arrived a little bit late on, in the day but I see the uh, solid waste department is here um, cleaning up what is left of the um, trash and uh, remnants of, of structures that are left. So, you know, this is, this is the end of the road. The city will be sealing these gates. These gates and access points to this fenced area will now be locked permanently while the property inside is being rehabilitated uh, and restored to original order. The mountains of trash and dirt and, and, and whatever is, is significant and it will take a couple hours yet for cleaning and cleansing to, to occur. There's a lot of EPWP, Extended Public Works members here, bailing the trash into the back of tip trucks and building materials and uh, that were used for the structures are being placed in a very big 10-ton truck. There's a very large police and law enforcement presence here. I believe there were more than a hundred police and law enforcement um, personnel at, at the site when the eviction took place. There was a fire here earlier as well. One of the illegal occupiers decided that he would burn his um, structure down and the fire department have been here to, to extinguish that but it's a big clean up it's going to take a while for all of this to, to be removed the big question now is where are the occupants that were here where have they gone there's at least 60 to 100 people who were living here who have um, now technically been displaced from here and no one knows where they are currently but I have no apprehension that at some point very soon we will find out where they have ended up probably displaced into the neighboring area this is the devastation from the fire that took place it's completely charred this section of the, the camp not much left here. It was quite a big fire and it seemed to have moved very quickly through here. I'm currently at the back of Ten City um, where there's a tremendous amount of uh, charred um, materials after one of the residents in the, in the camp, from what I understand, who's a drug dealer. Um, burnt this whole section down um, on the arrival of the sheriff and the police and law enforcement to break down the camp and evict the people. So a lot of the fencing has been damaged but it's uh, luckily it doesn't look like it's going to be permanent damage and, or anything that can't be restored or fixed. But this is the this is the carnage. This is this is the density of where the structures stood in the camp um, prior. 
Um, I've heard that the people that were here, the majority of them, have now moved across the road towards the Seapoint Promenade. Um, they gathered there, and I believe six people chose to go with social services um, to, sh to shelters, etc., this morning. Um, before the actual eviction took place. I'm here with uh, a few of the people that have been ejected from the camp a little bit earlier. Um, a lot of people are sitting around, uh, kind of dumbstruck, not knowing what to do next, traumatized, they say. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm just trying to find out, you know, from people, what what's the next step? Where, where will people go? Hi, what's your name? Uh, I'm Jack. How's it, Jack? I'm, I'm not alright today because why? This is a very sad day for me because why? The city promised us a lot of things. They promised us a place here and there, nearby Greenpoint. They did want us to now. They want us to go to safe place. Now we don't want to go to safe place because why? We some of us we have jobs nearby. Some of us Carl nearby. Now we must go far away from where. We're getting our money in we done us. Well. So 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 are you telling me that you know even though they've removed you here it's not going to remove you from Seapoint because you've got a life here? Yes, we got a life here and now we feel so lost because why our place here is been been done us. Well. Okay. Hi. Hi, my name is Unati Moia. Hello Unati. Tell me your story. What what's next for you? Yes, for me it's like no, I'm not moving here. But my life is here, actually. So you 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 got all your your materials yeah, here. My here, my thing that I do for and, work, and even my boyfriend works here. So what are the use of us moving here? Like so, you're not going to safe space or any no, of these things. No, safe space is no like. And where do you plan no on going? Place. Just anywhere in the neighborhood <laughs> anywhere or what? Anywhere around the neighborhood. This I'm in two points. Okay. I'm here, like, out of the points. Okay. But my brother works here. He's in around the stairs in the cannabis uh, shop for 20 doctor. So he's going to be very far from work. Okay. And then no. And this happened. Up so you're going to become a street person now? Now we're coming here. Yeah, we're going to become all, all, all over again. We did build our lives here. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. We did even set goals. We did plan our future. It's not that we were staying here. We were like staying here like we yes. people. We did plan our future here yeah, because why? We just get, put our goals and say, okay, we're gonna get out, we're gonna go for look for jobs, we're gonna do this, we're gonna do this. Now we must go and start off all over oh, again yeah, from yeah, where yeah. we start begin, like yeah, all over the street. Our stuff is gonna be gone. Sorry, and and, and your story, sir? Uh, my name is Sean Hibbert. Yes. How long have you been here, if I may ask? I've been here almost five years. Okay. And we've been come, becoming like a small family here. Uh, we all know each other by name. All right. Whenever we need something, we just go to this one. We go and ask they to help one another. Now we just all thrown apart. What's it? It's like this one is there, this one's there. How are we going to find each other? You know, it's sad. It's very sad. And we lost most of our belongings now due to this fire. I've got no idea where I'm going to. So what's it? Um, safe space is a no-no for me. So are you saying a lot of people, a lot of people lost their personal goods as a result of the fire because they had to move quickly without? without having time to take their stuff. That's right, yes. And the fire was, was set by somebody in the camp? Somebody in the camp. We were sitting, all, <laughs> all of us were basically sitting outside and the next minute we just saw the fire. Okay. And for you, what's next? I mean, have you got a plan? I've got no place to go at the moment. I must try and find a place where I can get my belongings safe mm. and then I must take it from there. Okay. But what's it? I'll probably so do you, have, do you have like ties to the community that you think you'll probably stay in the area? I'll probably stay in the area because I mean, what's it? There's no other place for me to go. I've okay. got no family. My mother passed away five years ago. We lost everything here in the beginning of COVID. We lost everything. So uh, my brother's in safe space. Him and his partner. And um, I don't think they're happy there either because what's a safe space? Already told them they've got to be out there after six months. So where they're going? They're going to be back on the streets again. I mean, if you don't have a job, you don't have enough money to um, afford an apartment, where must you go to? You've got no other option but going back onto the streets. Okay. And yourself, Baba, what's next for you? Uh, You've been next. here for a while as well. It's for next. I'll just look after my staff now. Then, maybe tomorrow we'll do writing. I go to, to safe place. And I can bring a number and then I can get my children 
Then I can go home. And where's home for you? As Eastern Cape. Eastern Cape. Okay, thank you. Hi, um, you ladies look like you've been displaced from the camp. Yeah. All your stuff is, is here. Did you manage to make, get your stuff out in time not before the fire? Them. Not all of them. Not, not, all, not all of you? Yeah, this is the one that we look at. Tell me, uh, what is your name if I may ask? I'm Muriel. Hello Muriel. Hello. Uh, what's next for you? I see you're sitting here looking a bit shell-shocked yeah, about what's happened. Exactly. And we don't know which way to because by the promises that they made for us, the places they set is in group and all this stuff. Nothing is happening now. The people that made a promise, they're going to put us in the places. It's not here. No one is here. We are stranded now just sitting here. Now. Were, were people not offered safe space at the safe space? Not only safe space. It's the ones that, the people that agrees to go to safe space. There was a lot of, there was a lot of places that they offered yes. for us. And have those and, not and, materialized? And yes. And now, where is this? Where is this place is now? Yeah. So what, what's next for you? Are you going to stay in the area, leave the area? How's it going to work I for you? Know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm confused also because where I'm going to go if I leave the area? Where? Which place? I'm used to this place. Okay. They already made me get used to this place. Now they're chasing us away. So there'll be a big possibility you might stay in the area just somewhere else? Yeah, I don't know. Because I really don't know. I don't have a real answer because I don't know where I'm going. Okay. All. All right. And you, ma'am? Hi, my name is Anita Nokubegam. Hello. Uh, in, my, in my view, you, we want to jump to stay there over the road. You want to move over the road? Uh, yes, over the road because we do not have any way to go. Okay. So uh, we do not have even the food to eat. So you, you weren't going to safe space or anything no. like that? Is there any reason you guys don't go, want to go to safe space? Many yes, reasons. because they don't treat us right. And <laughs> the things we, they get, the donations and stuff they get, they don't give it to the people. People who work, they keep it for themselves. They don't give it to us. Okay. And your reason not for going to safe space? Me, I never stayed there in safe space. Never stayed there? Stayed yes. there. Okay. So, uh, I don't want to try, I don't want to try my luck there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright ladies, thank you. Thank you very much.